basketball team and, and we beat a an excellent basketball team and an extremely well coached one and um, uh, to go through the kind of year we've had and guys show up every day they continue to work they continue to buy in and then see Tevin Jones Andres Felice Alan Griffin uh, Adonis to see that those guys contribute the way they did um, brings a smile to my face. It's it's about that locker room today. Um, we yeah, we executed. We made some shots, but uh, to me, it's a lot more about perseverance and uh, showing up and competing. And uh, we did that today, and we were very 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 fortunate to beat a very good basketball team. We'll start with that, Coach. Uh, well, one of the friends about your seasons, you guys have kind of struggled managing leads and games. What does it say about this group that you were able to manage a lead late in the game against the top 25 program? Yeah, it's huge. And it's something that, uh, you know, we just struggled with against Wisconsin the other night. And, uh, but I think it's it's uh, guys finally stepping up, making plays, making free throws. I think we were 16 to 17 in the second half. And, and uh, uh, guys wanting the ball. And then Playing with a conscious effort, Aaron Jordan's effort tonight on the glass uh, was was phenomenal, and, and yet it was everybody. And uh, you know, Adonis Jordan's uh, or Adonis Del Rosa's numbers don't show up in the box, but his physicality, uh, his effort was 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 tremendous. And you know, Andres Feliz has has been phenomenal. So yeah, for for us to manage that and, and win and pull away, and especially doing it coming from eleven down early, uh, means a lot. Right, I think there's about 10 Big Ten teams projected to make the tournament right now. Please talk about how tough this league is night in and night out, and what are the chances of a couple of those teams maybe going deep in March? Well, there's a great chance of a lot of them. Um, I mean, this is, I think, what, last year Michigan was fifth and went to the Final Four, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this league is, is, is unbelievable. I've never been a part of a league that every mistake you make the other team is good enough to capitalize on, and they do. And, you know, we ran into an Iowa team a couple games ago that was phenomenal. Every mistake we made, they made a three. And every bad rotation or miss switch or assignment. And uh, it's a testament to the great coaching, but it's also a testament to old, experienced, tough, and guys are, you know, this league is good. And, and it's, it's, it's at its, uh, you know, Last year we got slighted. We had two really good teams in Penn State and Nebraska not get in. Shame on everybody for not putting those teams in. But uh, again, this this year uh, we deserve ten and or and or more. I don't I don't know. I mean, uh, I guess if we're at the bottom, uh, there's a lot of great teams and there's some teams. Obviously, Michigan State's playing at a level that's 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 pretty scary right now. Um, uh, Michigan is. Has, has been tremendous all year. Uh, I still love Wisconsin's team. I love Iowa's team. I go right on down the list. And, um, it's a great league. Right here, down the stretch, you held them without a field goal for over six minutes. Um, wh what tweaks did you make defensively? Was it, and you had more personnel you know, available today, guys playing well. How does that help you? Well, I think the one thing we did was we tried to keep them off balance. I, I have the utmost respect for Anthony Cowan. He torched us last year. Um, he torched me when he was a freshman and I was in Oklahoma State. Uh, he's really good. And, and the one thing we wanted to do was mix our defenses up a little bit. I played a lot more zone. Uh, we, were, we tried to be uh, disruptive in terms of not letting them get into a set, uh, just a, uh, a set pattern, a rhythm. Uh, we felt like that Bruno would be hard to handle, he was. <coughs> So, you know, it was just about that. And then, you know, guys made plays at the offensive end. And that, you know, good offense always helps your defense. And that was the case today. Game of basketball, I'll get you 
What to you was the point that turned the game in your favor? Did anything stand out down the stretch, plays that you guys made? Well, I thought the, I didn't think it was down the stretch. I thought it was a stretch the first half. You know, I think cutting that to, to, to four from 11, 12, uh, gave us a locker room that, that was excited to go play the second half and, and, and confident the second half. And, and uh, we got some easy baskets. I got out in transition. Uh, we had, uh, you know, Tavian hit a three. Uh, Allen hit a Allen hit a three. Griffin, that stretch I thought was was huge. And then, uh, you know, defensively we made stops. And more most importantly, uh, we kept them off the glass. For you know, they're a team that gets 37 percent of their misses back. They're top 15 in the country. And um, our guys did that for the most part today. You know, we we hold them to six offensive rebounds. You you forced uh, 21 turnovers. You only committed nine. Assuming that's the key statistic of the game, is there anything in your Illini tenure that more exemplifies what you want to do in terms of pressure and ball control? Yeah, I mean, it's we have one at half, and you know, I look down and, and you know, we had 15 more attempts than Wisconsin the other night, and yet we had a bad shooting night, and we had a bad free throw night, and then tonight we have 14 more, 14 more attempts. And that's what we're about, and. Uh, we maximized the most out of our opportunities with one turnover the first half. Um, you know, I think our defense had something to do with their 21, but uh, you know, we'll take those every single night. Right here, Coach. You've talked about how this group, your group, is excited at halftime to come and play in the second half because you cut the, their lead to four. For people who haven't seen your group, but the, the way your season is gone, has it always been the case? Yeah. I, we've been, I, I think we've, I don't even know our record, can't I? But, 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 but of our losses, we've had the lead, I think, in all but two in the second half. And, you know, we've, we've been resilient. We've been a team that's shown up and fought. And we just had stretches where we haven't been able to, to finish games. Um, I tell everybody, I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I get to coach this group. I mean, this is a resilient locker room. They show up every single day and work hard. They, they, they're a sponge for information. They want to continue to grow. Uh, today was a result of that, especially with, with those bench guys, Tammy and Dre and, and, and Allen, and, and those guys making the, the jump they made. Okay, in the back, and I'll come back to you guys. How proud are you of your freshmen? You know, you have two that are your, are your leading goal scorers so far. How proud are you just overall of your freshman class and the development that they've been able to make so far? Well, I, you know, I think it, there's a there's a catch twenty two with that. I think any time you're led by two freshmen and a sophomore in scoring, uh, you've got a in a league that's very veteran, very old, um, that can attest to something. But I think it also uh, talks about uh, you know how bright the future is. I think it talks about how uh, how good players those guys are, uh, and uh, and then I think it's. Uh, a testament to see a guy like Tevin Jones and, and him step in and be able to have a 20 point night. And I mean, he's he's a guy that's very capable. He's just getting his sea legs back under him, and, and uh, uh, I'm really proud of him. Okay, right here, right here. Would you, uh, Tevian said that it was a sort of a team effort to keep him involved and, and keep him resilient throughout. You, you talked about it from press conference to press conference. Is there anybody key among the staff or the team that really helped him keep his head up? Well, I think it's everybody. I think every, you know, every single day, I, you know, I think I've got a great staff. I think they do a, a great job of, of, of communicating. And, and uh, you know, when he was out, it was, it was, he was still in practice. He was still a big part of what we were doing. And it was our job to keep him as uh, actively involved in all aspects, from film to uh, individual workouts, and, and uh, keep him in the shape. Adam Fletcher's done a tremendous job in that area as well. And uh, yeah, it's it's not just one person. Now there's a lot of people that, that go into uh, you know tab, and, and now it's uh, some rough moments coming back from that because he's doing it in Big Ten play, and uh, now to have uh, kind of some experience, and now he can gain some confidence from this and, and really grow. One here, and then one back there, and then that's wrap. Coach, going through the adversities you guys have been through, Tev being down 11, the maturity of this team is obviously, what did you learn from your team going forward? You know, I think the one thing is, is 
I can probably answer that question better Monday after practice or Wednesday after the next game. Uh, we beat Minnesota at home, and we turned around and we were pretty flat, uh, to be honest. And that's the challenge. We've got to we've got to be able to uh, to string a run together, and that's really hard to do in this league. Right. Uh, but it's our challenge, and it's about becoming, you know, our saying, everyday guys. And and you can't uh, let the emotion of this game subside. You have to find a way to to bring that every single night. Uh, the great teams in this league do that. And it's not always about who has the best talent, it's who has the best mental approach. And and um, that's where we have to grow. And that's where that's where I hope we can take this and and uh, continue to elevate ourselves that way. Okay, last question right in the back. Coach, you mentioned earlier that you thought the last couple minutes of the first half were the pivotal moments of the game, kind of building off of that. What was your message to your team going into halftime? Yeah, we're right where we want to be. And I, you know, I felt great that, um, you know, the only th concern I had was Demonte Williams had been so good defensively that, that and I left him in because of stability. Um, but uh, he had three, and uh, but I felt really, really, really positive because Tevian had kind of found a rhythm. Allen was 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 playing well and in a nice rhythm. Uh, Dre had given us a big lift, so I felt really good about. Overall, if I had to go to the bench, I could go. Adonis was was focused and dialed in and, and was, was a key. And so I felt pretty positive about uh, the flow of the game and the way the guys were, uh, were all dialed in. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.